William Dawson was the fabric that held together the delicate peace among rivaling gangs in Belize City. And tonight, many across the city and even the country are mourning his sudden passing. As a product of a gang-ridden community in the old capital, Dawson would dedicate his life to mentoring at-risk youths from all walks of life. He first made an impact at the Ladyville Technical High School as a teacher. He then took on the role of director at the Wagner's Youth Facility. And up until the time of his passing, Dawson was the chairman of the Leadership Intervention Unit. In his capacity at the LIU, he spent a great deal of time on the streets of Belize City, building relationships with feuding gangs in an effort to curb the senseless violence that has taken hold of the inner city. The difference between a father and a dad is like the difference between a house and a home. You know, so the father contributes biologically, in my view, but the dad really is that person who nurtures, cares, mentors, and supports his children. Yeah. Not only his children, I believe that it's important to also uh, nurture those who do not have that support around them. Yeah. So it incorporates the ideology that it takes a village to raise a child. And so as a dad, it, it's important for me to be able to spot that young man or that young woman who might need that type of support mm -hmm. from a dad. To many, those words embodied the life that William Dawson led. This afternoon, we met his wife, Sheena Dawson, among relatives and friends who gathered in Belize City to mourn the untimely passing. There, we spoke with Olga Gordon, a community activist who has known Dawson from his childhood days in St. Martin's area. She would later come to work alongside him at LIU. His thing was to get some of them back to school. He wanted to get them into school, to get them into projects and anything that would have, could have helped. Because when we sit down and talk, I was like, Mr. D, them boy don't have no job. They have a family, they have kids, they can't mind their children. What could you do? He said, Ms. G, any suggestion you come up with, we go with it. And um, that was when he started to um, have a meeting with them. And he would call, um, we're going to talk to them, boy, I want shooting just gone down. Mr. D, they shot you and they shot me. <laughs> and he was like, no man, no man. Um, we're just going to talk with them, boy, and um, make them know, you know, we got them. And, and he got them. He had them. He was so true and faithful to these boys that I know right now, so much of them, they crumble. So much of them, they crumble. Because they look up to him. They always look up to Mr. D for get something done for them. And today in Lake Independence, we met members of the community who came together to mourn Dawson's death. A true testament to his work and the positive influence he had over these young men. Only five months ago, a state of emergency was issued for this area following a slew of murders. But on this occasion, that hostility was nowhere in sight as a commitment was made to carry on the legacy their friend and mentor began. That man I'm far back here and he represents every way up and he go. And he knows to get along with people, you understand? So I don't know how things are work, but I hope they put somebody in a place where I well, do the things the right way. What was your interactions like with him? Because he called wrong and he talked to people. When I talk to people, I didn't get to know people. You understand me? What, what was it about his approach that uh, allowed him to have the sort of impact and effectiveness he would in these uh, mediation sessions? No, the man got a positive vibe, I keep it real. You understand? Once you keep it real, people are going vibes with you. Once you don't keep it real, people are going to vibes with you. The man just real to the thing. From the whole team, and from the whole work team, we just uh, always say condolences to the family. Uh, try to keep strong and make sure everything go through. We are the right at the funeral as a whole team. And we try to get the whole team together with all the hood name to step in. And try to see if we could do the march up for please the man's soul and set her down good. Like what we like what say right now, I got a sense of what I there. I got a sense and the love they there. I got a sense and... I was just saying the man I'm a good man, man. I really got much to say to me, because it hurt, check that out. It really hurt, it really hurt, you know what I'm The man made a try for it, you know what I'm saying? The man really made a try for it, man. So we just continue to do what he wants, you know what I'm saying? He wants the peace and love in the whole city, 
and we are continue. We are keep the legacy. Trust me, we are keep it. We are keep it. We want to make the man smile. You know sense? We want to make the man smile. We want to make the man see that, yeah, we continue to do what he may want. You know what We are continue to do it. Trust me. In the Mayflower area, matriarch of the community, Sandra Utter, recounted her time with Dawson through his work with the LIU. So far with the guys, they all had well, if we have enough relationship with them, even one of my grandson he used to come out and talk to them, invite them to different meetings. He helped find jobs for them, which they are still working on. But he was a nice person, as far as I know. He used to come here also with Mr. Rosado, and we used to talk and explain the situation that is happening, and he used to rectify it the best way he could. The Leadership Intervention Unit is a branch of the Ministry of Home Affairs. Only last week, Dawson and Karim Musa, the Minister of Home Affairs, were together at a cabinet retreat in Cayo District, where they presented the ministry's 2023 crime-fighting strategy. At the time, Dawson was already experiencing health complications, and as Musa told us this morning, he insisted on being present at the retreat. When I saw him, I said, Mr. Dawson, please do not come to the cabinet retreat the following week because he had been preparing along with Mr. Rosado, the, the, uh, Deputy Rosado, the launch of the multi-sectoral approach, um, which again is over the last year, a lot of work has gone into that uh, with the LIU. And I said, Mr. Dawson, please focus on your health. Dr. Rosado and myself can handle it. And he said to me, Minister, if it is the last thing that I do, I need to let Cabinet know that we believe in these young men and women. And it's not just about letting Cabinet know, it's about letting those young men know. Deputy Commissioner of Police Dr. Richard Rosado also spoke with News 5. Dr. Rosado, as the commander of Eastern Division, met Dawson during 2020. They discussed ways in which they could collaborate to tackle the ongoing gang violence. During those discussions, they agreed that they were both passionate about championing the same cause. Presently, I'm in Barbados and I still find it hard to believe that William has left us. I believe Belize is saddened by the untimely death of William. And our prayers and thoughts are with Mr. And Mrs. Dawson, the kids and the family. I believe that Belize has lost an irreplaceable soldier, a fighter for the poor man. I believe his work has touched many, many lives and he was a champion that wanted to make a difference. He was a champion that wanted to promote a shared vision in managing crime. And I believe we have lost a great soldier. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.